Hi all, it's Tuesday Tarot with Teresa. I was asked a while ago by a viewer how I choose the Tarot or Lena Mon deck that I use for a reading. So I got to thinking and wanted to organize my thoughts about how do I choose a deck. I would say that sometimes it is random, but other times I will choose a deck for very specific reasons. One of them is if I happen to know the person I'm doing the reading for, I'll choose a deck that I feel is based on that person's interest, their outward personality that I can easily observe, or just their age range maybe. Other times I'll think about the question that they're asking and I'll sense a certain mood about the question and a certain deck will come to mind that I feel the graphics work well with that general mood of their question. Other times I might want to use a new deck that I just bought. I find that I do buy certain decks because I like the symbols, the graphic style, and how easily it is for me to read with that deck and to intuitively see aspects of the question that the person asked. Other times I might want to use a deck that I haven't used for a while and some of the decks that I haven't used for a while that I've owned for years and years, I'll pull it off the shelf and I'll look at the graphics and at first glance the graphic style is so different from the style I use when I'm painting and I might choose that deck for that reason to see if a certain symbol jumps out at me when I'm answering the question. And other times I'll read the author's interpretation of the card and immediately something they said in the sentence jumps out at me and I know that that is the answer to the question. So it's interesting that sometimes an unfamiliar deck or a graphic style that is unfamiliar to me or very different from my own graphic style will work in that way. I use Tarot decks and Lenormand decks to answer questions. Sometimes that is very random, but I tend to use Tarot decks more often for questions that seem deeper psychologically with more aspects of the question to delve into not real straightforward answers. They might have multiple answers to the question and the insights are a little harder to pinpoint. The Lener Mon cards I always felt were better for more everyday questions. The images on them seem to be able to very quickly describe matters of our everyday living a little better. And the Tarot cards seem to invoke more nuanced responses to the question. But I do use both Tarot and Lener Mon cards to answer all kinds of questions. And I have found that I still am able to intuitively pick up information from either type of deck for any kind of question. Sometimes I like to use a Tarot deck to initially answer a question and then I'll use a Lener Mon deck to answer the same question and see what insights we get. Will they always match up or will the insights be very different but both very valid and important to answer the question? Other times I'll use both Tarot cards and Lenormand cards in one reading. The Lenormand cards I feel are adding supplemental information to specific cards in a spread and the Lener Mon cards add very specific details. And from more and more practice, I've tried different methods of putting the cards down in different spreads 
and using tarot cards or Lenormon cards to answer questions to see what felt the best intuitively, to see what characterized the answers to the specific question the best. Another interesting thing about Lenormand cards is I'm finding that uh, the newer cards these days contain multiple versions of the same card. So depending on the question or the person asking the question, you can choose the version of the card that you feel works for the querent the best. Is the person younger? So for the woman card, there is a younger and a slightly older version of the woman and the same with the man. The child card, there's a female child or a male card. You can use either or you can decide to use all of the versions in the deck when you're answering the question and see what you get. For instance, if the person asking the question is in a same-sex relationship, you might want to use both of the female cards or both of the male cards to answer those specific questions depending on the, what the question is. Is the person a cat person or a dog person? Both of these are the number 18 and you can choose which one will work best for the person asking the question. So it gives you more flexibility for answering the question using certain leaner mon decks, which I find is very interesting. The same is true with some tarot decks these days where they are more geared to women or to men. The graphics on these king cards, they're all women. So we know that the court cards in tarot can symbolize an actual person in the situation or can symbolize the characteristics those characteristics can be applied to either a woman or a man in the question. These happen to be all female kings, which I find is uh, very refreshing. You can choose to use these or you can choose to use the corresponding cards that show a man. And also some tarot decks I have don't use people in the symbols at all. They're all based on animals, birds, and other elements of nature. So this can bring up correlations between these characteristics of the animals pictured that describe the energy or the mood or the insights about the question very well. Also, going by the author's interpretations written in the book that is included with the cards, I find is very helpful. And again, something will jump out at me in the description that clearly describes what's going on about the question. Also, some of the really wonderful decks that I have are very non-standard images. They don't correspond to the standard rider weight symbology, but they take a different approach when describing the meaning of that card. Again, this might prompt certain intuitive insights by looking at a card that isn't using the standard rider weight symbols that I'm used to. Sometimes I do find that I like to use a deck that I'm very, very familiar with the images and the interpretations of the symbols that are in the standard Rider weight deck, but have updated images that I like better than the symbols in the standard Rider weight decks. 
I just find that some updated versions of standard rider weight images work better to appeal to me visually. And it helps when I'm doing the reading to just not have to delve into the symbols and the graphics on the card too deeply. I know right away looking at it what it means. And it makes sense to me intuitively then to connect the dots to answer the question of the reading. So as you can see, this is not scientific the way this is done. Uh, I think reading to Row and Lena Mon cards is just an art and it's different for everybody. It's very subjective to the reader. And some readers use just one deck for doing all of their readings. They might use the standard symbols and images and interpretations from a standard rider weight deck. Me being an artist though, I think I like the variety of graphic styles and the beautiful artwork, sometimes mysterious looking artwork, artwork that is done partly on computer and partly on paper. So it's just fascinating to me all the different styles. I appreciate that. So I hope this helped to answer the question you had about how do I choose which deck I use when I read. So thanks for watching. Until next Tuesday, take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.